Last year, I saw a video that would change my life. The video was Catch Playing the Shell Game by the YouTube channel Funny Tunes! And yes, you do have to yell it. I was stunned. This was the best video I had ever seen. A comedic masterwork. I just had to share it with somebody. But I can't do it all alone. So I've enlisted the help of the very friend who showed me the video in the first place. Please welcome, comedy expert, world-renowned television critic, second funniest guy in this room, Matthew Malamode Alamo! I just flew in from Chicago and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> comedy genius. I'm Matt. I've been a close friend of Henry's for four years, though I prefer to think of him as one of my disciples. We met online and bonded quickly over our love of cartoons, which we both wrote about in different dark chapters of our lives. And now, for some reason, we've continued to be friends. I don't get it either, but he's a really cool and talented guy, and he asked me to be part of this video, so I said yes because money is money. Keep him coming. I'm also the progenitor of Henry's immense love of funny tunes, having introduced him in August by way of two dancing cats. From there, feelings blossomed and intensified to the degree that Henry would text me out of the blue with passionate thoughts every time a new video dropped. I never asked for any of these, but I accepted them. Eventually, we decided to share a love of funny tunes with the world. So welcome to I Write Down on Why Cash Playing the Shell Game is the Best Artistic Work of Our Generation. <laughs> The channel known as Funny Tunes was birthed on July 18, 2006, but only published his first work 10 years later in the form of a video called Wheels on the Bus, Song for Kids. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Looking at this, you can definitely tell his artist's early work. There is not a catch be seen. And compared to Funny Tunes' later refined art style, the art style here is all over the place, featuring realistic humans, blocky cubist trees, and strange two-dimensional animals. Cartoons that mix art styles are never good. And yet, you can still see hints of the genius that's yet to come. The way this boy moves, the way this empty, self-driving car changes lanes to attempt an insurance fraud with a bus, it has tones of this surreal, understated comedy that we all know today. The artist behind Funny Tunes is very secretive about their identity, preferring to work in obscurity rather than being lavish with praise. However, in their YouTube About page it says, Created by Alcor. One image was for Alcor and... Yeah, yeah, that's about what I expected. He reeked of unwashed sweat and other odors best left unsaid. Anyway, Funny Tunes' career-defining video was posted two months later, titled, Baby Playing with Cats, and I was surprised to learn that this is a horror film. The video involves a dead-eyed baby picking up cats and placing them on a physics-defying perpetual motion machine as a disembodied voice that I can only assume to be God calmly keeps track of the baby's victims. One cat, two cats, three cats. <laughs> but success comes from the strangest of places, my friends. This video blew up, amassing 195 million views, a number equal to seven Nepals. As you may expect, this video did finally feature FUNNY TUNES! But, as you may not expect, it didn't happen right away. Of course they followed up their success with more cat-based videos. They'd be foolish not to, but they were nestled in between other videos, showing that Alcor still had a creative vision that he needed to get out. FUNNY TUNES went through a dinosaur phase, a demon baby phase, a vehicles phase, and even a soft body Tetris phase. Every great artist has a soft body Tetris phase. For the record, my soft body Tetris phase is scheduled to begin Mid-2024, so get your soft bodies ready. I consider the current era of Funny Tunes to have begun on February 8th, 2020 with the video Dancing Cats. This video is a significant departure from Funny Tunes' previous work. While Alcor had previously set his videos in vast plains with cartoonist houses and trees strewn about, this new video was set in a photorealistic city, complete with pigeon. The cat had received a minor but important redesign, looking fluffier, plumper, and doing old Charlie Darwin right by standing on two legs. A slight camera shape was added to all the shots, making the video look like it was filmed by the cat behind the camera. The most important change, though, was in the cat's movement. While cats in previous videos had surreal, almost robotic motions, the cats in this video... got moves.
didn't take long for this winning formula to take over the channel. Cats dancing in popular styles, giant cat, kitten and donuts, two dancing cats, and of course, cats playing the shell game, all follow the style, and all were just as amazing. Around this time, Funny Tunes rebranded to Vitty Cat, and indulge me for a second. If you ask me, which you didn't, but I don't care, the rebrand from Funny Tunes to Vitty Cat was ill-advised. You hear me, Al Gore? Ill-advised. Here's why. Funny Tunes, it's descriptive, it's to the point. What you see is what you get. Ask me what a funny tune is, Matt. What's a funny tune? Well, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's this, it's, it's, it's funny, it's, it's a tune, it's a funny tune! Yeah, ask me what a Vitty Cat is, Matt. What's a Vitty Cat? I don't know! I have no idea what a Vitty Cat is. What is it? I have no idea. Somebody tell me. Is this a Vitty Cat? No, this is a sock! So that's, so that's what I'm gonna keep calling it. Funny tunes. Okay. Anyway, it is my firm belief that we are in the golden era of funny tunes. Even though the channel has settled on a style for its videos, Alcor hasn't stopped experimenting with his work. Funny tunes, experiments with YouTube shorts in the video, cat dancing twerk, experiments with new species in, two dancing dogs, and even experiment with their art style in Small Monkey Dancing to the Music. And even though I prefer their work with the cats, I can always appreciate an artist trying to expand their horizons, which I'm sure to inform them of in the comments section. Ultimately, this is mere preamble to why me and Henry have decided to join forces. I think it's time to get into the nitty gritty with Funny Tunes' magnum opus, Cats Playing the Shell Game. Matt, Matt, Matt. Matt, 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 Matt. Our story begins with one of our two protagonists, Orange Cat, standing ominously before a box, stacked atop of which are three paper cups standing in front of a very ambiguous store. I admire that openness to interpretation. Suddenly, Grey Cat approaches. On all fours? Now this is ripe with deep implications. Are some cats lesser than other cats? What determines this? What happens if a quadruped tries to become bipedal? Is this frowned upon or embraced? Does eugenics exist in this parallel society? Does- Never mind, he's on two feet now. You know, despite watching this film every night before bed, he gives me goosebumps every time. Now that the two are formally equals, Orange Cat invites Grey Cat to a game. A shell game! Orange Cat telekinetically places a cat treat under one of the three cups. After Orange Cat uses his telekinesis a bit more to shuffle the cups, he gestures to Grey Cat to deliberate upon which cup offers the treat that he so desires. Grey Cat briefly ponders in the moment before pushing one of the cups forward to indicate that yes, this is the cup that contains the treat. For the purposes of dramatic tension, he's incorrect. Orange Cat reveals the error of his ways. The treat was in a different cup all along. No! Without the consent of Grey Cat, Orange Cat recommences the SHELL GAME! This time, Grey Cat is a more astute observer, and when the shuffle ends, he confidently brings his paw down upon the laced cup with a newfound arrogance, the likes of which we've never seen before. There's a dramatic beat. Was Grey Cat finally victorious? He was! The treat floats into his mouth, and after some satisfying crunches, he performs a celebratory victory dance. This is his moment, and he seizes it. Thus concludes the saga of Orange and Grey Cat Shell Game. Something I find immediately striking about the cats is that, in spite of their vacant expressions, there's something very expressive about them. It manifests in the sort of movements that they make, which imbues the narrative of cats playing shell game with their distinct personalities. These aren't normal, boring-ass cats playing a shell game. These are highly intelligent, anthropomorphic cats who have a legitimate sense of the weight of the activity that they partake in. Orange Cat is a consummate showman, gesturing cockily to Grey Cat whenever he's done shuffling, and, when Grey Cat guesses incorrectly, really making a show out of his stupidity with a bow and a dismissive hand wave, his head ever so slightly cocked back in an act of pure, unbridled hubris. Grey Cat, on the other hand, is a figure of deep empathy. This isn't just because the video starts them on all fours, a clear indication of his status relative to Orange Cat. He's the participant in Orange Cat's game, and we want to see him succeed. It's also great to see how his confidence builds after his initial loss. Whereas the first time he makes his guess he gives the cup a simple push, the second time indicates that he already knows he'll be triumphant. Note the very subtle circling of his paw as he prepares to bring it down upon the cup, soaking in all the drama of the moment. He's also got, as both me and Henry have alluded to several times, some sick-ass dance moves. I also think the cats playing the show game has a particularly keen ear for sound design, which goes unheralded in the grand scheme of things. 
Good sound design is unnoticed sound design. Noise is so subtle and perfect that their execution isn't consciously considered. The foley on those cup shuffles is especially sexy, if maybe so bold. But beyond just the sounds of the objects being used, Cats Playing the Show Game also discovers some truly fascinating sound cues that signify the significance of specific, integral actions to the narrative. The sound of a slide whistle, for instance, accompanies the inaugural cup shuffle, as well as the telekinetic ascent of the treat into Grey Cat's victorious mouth. But I think the most distinctive sound, and a sound that does a lot to really make this video, is the sound that plays when Orange Cat reveals Grey Cat's first guess to be incorrect. <laughs> There are a lot of sounds that humans have created to indicate a wrong answer, but few can reach the level of this one. I mean, imagine hearing this sound every time you did something poorly. <laughs> and further, what does this video say about cat society? What does it say of the haves and have-nots, the great disparity that stratifies fellow cats rather than uniting them? What is the point of Orange Cat's nefarious game? Does he want Grey Cat to succeed, or does he want Grey Cat to fail for the sake of massaging his own ego and sense of superiority? And also, who creates these treats? If this is a society led by cats, why would they specifically want to eat cat treats? Does this imply that cats like Grey Cat don't deserve more complex nourishment? Were the treats created to maintain the proletarian kitty populace by the bourgeoisie? Is Orange Cat the root of all society's ills? What does this video say about our society? Is it a commentary on the way that we conduct our lives? Is it an indictment? Are we Grey Cat, struggling to survive against a puppet master who tortures him with paper cups? Or oh my god, are we Orange Cat, a sadistic monster who relishes in the suffering of others with a game that means nothing to us but everything to those whom we exist to suppress? Are we neither? Or are we both? Or are we somewhere in between? <sighs> Matt, 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 calm down. Calm down. <sighs> Alright, I, I just get passionate about this stuff, you know. I know, I know you do. And you're entirely right. Funny Tunes is not just a channel of funny cat cartoons, it's the greatest and most overlooked artistic work of our time. So true. You see, even though Funny Tunes is clearly a work of genius, and some parts have achieved massive success, the work as a whole has largely fallen under the radar. Go up to someone on the street and start a conversation about Funny Tunes, and you'll get maced. Trust me, I've tried it. So have I, and it's getting worse. While hits like Baby Playing With Cats and Dancing Cats have performed well, each Funny Tunes video in the past year has gotten less views than the last. <gasps> and that's where you come in. Me? No, you came in 13 minutes ago. This is where you, the viewer, come in. Spread the word of Funny Tunes! Support their work. Let them be known across the land. These cast deserve more than this. Look at them! We believe that Funny Tunes is the greatest artistic work of our generation, and we can only hope that one day it'll be treated as such. Kids on the playground will discuss the newest Funny Tunes video. Each cat's newest dance will immediately become the newest TikTok trend. Fan theories and fan fiction will run wild about the future of Grey Cat and Orange Cat's relationship. Grey Cat will become a symbol of fighting authoritarianism worldwide, leading to his name being banned from Chinese internet. Al Gore will stand on stage in tears as he accepts all of his Emmys. In a decade or two, Funny Tunes will surpass Pokemon as the biggest media franchise in the world. And one day, a person who loved Funny Tunes as a child will be elected US President and achieve world peace. This is the future that we could have. I implore you all, spread the word of Funny Tunes! Don't let these kitties be lost in time. Let everyone know, so that someday in the future, we may all be- Hold on. Do you ever realize that you've peaked, that right now is the happiest you'll ever be, and it's all downhill from here? It's very melancholy. Funny tunes reply to my comment.